Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys all of my American Girl Girl of the Year dolls. So I made this exact same video on TikTok a few weeks ago and a lot of people really enjoyed it, so I figured that I would make like a longer and more detailed one for YouTube. If you're familiar with me, then you probably know that I've been collecting American Girl dolls for seven years and in that time I have amassed quite the collection, but I've also been really lucky to get my hands on a lot of the Girl of the Year dolls. I would say that they are my favorite line to collect from American Girl just because the joy and like the fun of getting a new doll um, every year and seeing how her story is going to play out. However, I have felt within the past year that this has been declining with the launch of Kavi and especially with the upcoming launch. The next girl of the year only one week away from the filming of this video and it's only late September. She releases on October 4th. I do not have every single girl of the year doll, but I think it's always been like kind of a goal in the back of my mind to have all of them. Also, feel free to let me know which one is your favorite or if you have any or if there's any that you're looking for. I can answer that last question and I'm actually looking for Krissa or Mia right now because I have a gap between Nikki and Lainey, which you'll see here in a few minutes. So let's go ahead and get started and meet all of my girl of the year dolls. The first girl of the year doll that I own here, this is Nikki Flaming. She was the girl of the year for 2007. Her story revolved around her training a service dog named Sprocket to help out her mom. She was the first girl of the year to come with two books, and fun fact, her doll does not have underwear because her little white top that you're seeing is actually a bodysuit. I got her actually this past January. I found her used, and I think I paid about $30 for her. I brought her home and intended to fix her up myself, but unfortunately she had a problem with her eyes. They were not opening and closing properly, and it was pretty much beyond what I could do at home, so I did send her to the doll hospital to get a new head and she came back and now she is all nice and brand new or at least her head is so that's why she looks really good. I would say she is also one of the American Girl dolls that looks like me the most. Um, we have the exact same blue eyes and freckles. She looks very similar to my Create Your Own doll and we have very similar um, hair especially in her book artwork. Her hair looks a lot like how mine does. The next doll up here is Lainey. She is Girl of the Year 2010, so as you can see, we skipped uh, 2008 and 2009 because unfortunately, I'm still missing Krista and Mia. Her story really revolved around her um, liking nature, like she really likes spending time outside. I got her back in 2021. In fact, there is actually a video of me unboxing her, so if you want to check it out, I will just go ahead and leave it um, in the description because it's always fun to go back and unbox like older American Girl dolls, and especially since I got a bunch of her pieces, so it was actually a super um, cool deal that I got on her, and I'm really happy that I have her now. This is Kanani Akina. She was the Girl of the Year for 2011, and her story revolved around her kind of welcoming her cousin into her kind of home of Hawaii. I originally got a Kanani doll um, back in, I believe it was around September of 2017. And the one I had gotten was pretty banged up, so I kind of knew that she would need a doll hospital visit. So in the spring of 2018, I did send her in, and I didn't realize it until a few years later, but American Girl actually replaced the whole entire doll. So technically, this is not the original um, Kanani doll I have. This was actually one that was produced um, later on for the purpose of being a doll hospital replacement. So I try to take really good care of her, especially since she is a very sought after doll and she's absolutely gorgeous. So that's why she looks uh, pretty perfect because I just try my best to look out for her and uh, keep her as nice as possible. Next up, this is McKenna Brooks. She was the girl of the year for 2012. Her story revolved around her enjoying her gymnastics hobby, but also how she struggled in school and needed a tutor. I really related with that story a lot. She was actually the second American Girl doll I ever owned. I got her back in September of 2016. So she's obviously one of the oldest dolls in my collection. I'm not sure what made me um, pick her as my second doll. I, like I said earlier, I kind of always knew from the beginning that I wanted to collect all of the Girl of the Year dolls. And I think I was kind of like <laughs> trying to establish that. Um, back then. This doll right here is Sage Copeland and she was the girl of the year for 2013. Her story revolved around her being really into like art and she also rode horses and I always really loved the theme of her story and she also had a movie ca that came out that year and I remember watching that and being super obsessed with it. This Sage doll was actually purchased at the same time that my McKenna doll was so they did actually get here I think at the same time. 
I also sent a uh, stage to the doll hospital at the same time I did Kanani. She had pretty uh, ratted hair when she was purchased, so it's a little bit better now, but I still feel like it's really difficult to manage, so that's why it stays in the um, meat rope braid that it originally came in. Up next is Isabel Palmer. She was the girl of the year for 2014 and her story revolved around her going to a dance school so she was all about ballet and stuff. I got her, I can't exactly remember when, but I got her a few years ago, um, used. And a little fun fact about the Isabel doll is that she actually has removable pink highlights. They're kind of a pain and really tricky to get in and out, so um, they pretty much stay in all the time and they're actually kind of hidden, honestly. Still an interesting feature about this doll that American Girl put on her. This doll here is Grace Thomas and she was the girl of the year for 2015. Her story resolved around her traveling to Paris and helping out in her family's bakery. Grace was a Christmas gift back in 2017 and my mom did buy her brand new so she was brand new in the box even though it was 2017 so that's why she looks pretty good still. I also have really similar features to her but her hair is a little bit dark and a little bit more straighter than mine is and this is definitely the doll I would bring if I were going to an Olivia Rodrigo concert. This is of course Leah Clark. She was the girl of the year for 2016 and her story revolved around her traveling down to Brazil to visit her brother who was studying there. Leah was the first American Girl doll I ever owned so she is a very special doll and she did uh, receive a new head at the doll hospital in the fall of 2017 because I've told this story so many times when I got her. I did not know how to take care of her hair and it dried out so eventually I decided to go ahead and just get her fixed up. I've also been really lucky enough to have almost her entire collection except for a few pieces. Overall she is a very special doll since she was the first one I ever owned and I have a lot of memories with her. Next up is Gabriella McBride and she was the girl of the year for 2017. Her story revolved around her being into like dance and poetry and then trying to like save her kind of like her community arts center. I got her uh, the day she was released. She was the first American Girl doll I ever got to attend the launch for because it was 2017 which was only a few months after I had started collecting. The doll herself is really cute. Um, she's actually uh, truly me number 46. <laughs> Essentially she literally is truly me number 46 which a lot of people talk about that just has this um, outfit on basically. And most of the pieces in her collection um, aren't exactly the most like desirable or like the most memorable. Um, especially since American Girl was going through a really weird uh, phase at the time of like doing the open window packaging so it was uh, kind of weird and then her release was really overshadowed by like Tenny so it was just a really weird time. I actually think though what's funny is that out of all of my dolls she has like the most wear. I think she was played with a lot that year so that's good at least. This is Luciana Vega. She was the girl of the year for 2018. Her story revolved around her going to like space camp and stuff so she was all like STEM themed and I think she is definitely one of the best dolls that American Girl has ever made. I've always hoped that they will do not like the exact same thing but something similar to her like another STEM background in the future. And I also got her on January 1st of 2018 so I got to attend her launch too. She's definitely one of my top favorite girl of the year and top favorite American Girl dolls just because I think her story and collection was so cool. Next up is Blair Wilson, the girl of the year for 2019. Her story revolved around her planning a wedding for a family friend and, you know, managing life on her family's bed and breakfast farm in New York. I got her not when she was released right away and that's because at the time she looked a lot like one of my other dolls who is truly me number 61, Maddie. However, Maddie has blue eyes now so they look a little different but at the time I was a little hesitant but now I'm not too concerned about my dolls looking similar, obviously. She definitely has one of like my favorite dresses from American Girl and I love her hairstyle. I do have a tutorial up on YouTube on how to do her waterfall or do a waterfall braid. Um, it was from a few years ago so I guess I will link that down below too. This is Joss Kendrick. She was the girl of the year for 2020. Her story revolved around her being a surfer at heart but eventually she decided to try cheerleading and she found a love for both of them. She is my all time favorite girl of the year, at least right now of course. I love this doll so much. I love the story. I love the collection. I love her face mold and as you can see she actually wears a hearing aid so that was a really cool thing that American Girl added to her. I didn't attend her launch either. I got her a little bit later into 2020. 
This is Kira Bailey. She was the girl of the year for 2021. Her story revolved around her going down to Australia to visit her aunt's wildlife sanctuary. I finally got to attend her launch again after not going to an American Girl doll launch in probably three years. She was also the first Girl of the Year doll that I did an unboxing for and I have an entire playlist just filled with all the videos where Kira was in. I used her a lot in a lot of different videos that year so I will link that down below and that'll also lead you straight to the unboxing video because it is in that playlist. I'm also pretty fond of Kira too. Um, I really liked her collection. Honestly, it was like the most fairly priced and affordable collection that I think American Girl has like ever done, <laughs> at least in today's standards. No girl, she's just a super cute doll with a super uh, fun story. Next up is Corinne Tan. She was the girl of the year for 2022 and her story revolved around her living her skiing life in Aspen, Colorado and then training her own junior search and rescue dog. I also got to attend her launch and she was actually uh, launched in 2021, so a few days before the new year, so I actually got her in 2021, not 2022. She's another one of my favorites. Um, I think American Girl did such a good job on the story and I really enjoyed how it revolved around her and her younger sister, Gwen. In fact, Gwen is actually a doll. She's a 14 and a half inch Willy Wisher size doll and she was sold as a companion in Corinne's collection. We're also standing in Corinne and Gwen's bedroom right now, but it's been uh, taken over by a few other pieces and Halloween, but this is their bedroom. I also have a playlist featuring all the videos where I unboxed um, most of the pieces in her collection, so I will also link that down below. And finally, we are now at 2023. This is Kavi Sharma, the girl of the year for this year. I also got her a few days before the new year, so I got her last December in 2022 at her launch event. I've also got a playlist with a couple of her videos and her story revolves around her really being into like the whole um, musical theater type thing but she also really struggled in school. I also haven't finished getting her whole collection because I'm not um, that crazy about it. it, just it's not the most desirable collection to me I guess. Um, and the Wicked outfits are ridiculously overpriced and so I don't know if I will ever get those. But that wraps up all of my Girl of the Year dolls. And with the end of my Girl of the Year doll collection, that leads us to where we are now, which is only a week away from the release for the Girl of the Year for 2024. I think it's a little weird that American Girl is releasing her so early. I get that they want to release her before the holiday season, but Girl of the Year dolls have changed a lot <laughs> since I've started collecting. They used to feel really special and exclusive because they were only available from January 1st of their year to December 31st. And once they were gone, once the clock hit midnight, they were gone. It's pretty sad to see that American Girl has kind of taken this less, more exclusive uh, direction, especially no longer releasing full length books with the dolls. That was pretty disappointing. So we'll see what happens with this new Girl of the Year. We do have a possible name and a possible kind of like story slash theme. Um, an email was sent out to AG Rewards members kind of hinting. Uh, the emojis that were used were um, a girl riding a horse and gymnastics. So I guess we could assume that she is going to kind of be like, I'm imagining a combination of McKenna and Sage, so this will be interesting and I'm curious to see how this goes with them uh, releasing her early, but I guess we will find out next week. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one.